In this problem, we have to figure out how many cubic inches would it take to fill the following object. The object shown is a rectangular prism with the dimensions 5 by 9 by 7. The terms cubic inches and the word fill in the problem is an indication that the problem is a volume problem. And to find the volume of any rectangular prism, we can multiply the length times the width times the height of the rectangular prism. The first part of the formula, or length times width, will actually give you the area of the prism space. Notice in this example, the base has the dimensions 5 by 9, which would give us 45 square units. So the first part of our volume formula, length times width, would only give us the area of the prism's base, which is a two-dimensional measurement. Multiplying the area of the rectangular prism's base by the rectangular prism's height will add depth to our rectangular prism and let us know what the volume is of the rectangular prism. So in this case, by multiplying 45 by 7, that will tell us how many cubic inches it would take to completely fill the shown rectangular prism. And 45 times 7 is equal to 315 cubic inches. Now that we know the answer, let's just watch as we fill up the rectangular prism with cubic inches. We can see that one layer is equal to 45 cubic inches and that two layers is 90 cubic inches, three layers is 135 cubic inches, four layers is 180 cubic inches, five layers is 225 cubic inches, six layers is 270 cubic inches, and finally seven layers of 45 is equivalent to 315 cubic inches, which is the total volume of this rectangular prism. 